to reinstill this again, to reiterate this, we have we are worked on a foundation of rationality. We enshrine the rights of everyone. We pride ourselves on diversity. We are the free market of ideas. The U.S. is also a free market of ideas, but the thing is that not only do we allow for freedom of speech, we allow for freedom of rights for everyone. We prevent discrimination based on this. We, you have it enshrined in your laws after having fought for decades and generations. You had centuries of independent use where people were supposed to have life and liberty, but you still had discriminations against groups like blacks and the like. You know, your country's history, and I'm talking your legal system here. I'm not talking you as people. I'm talking your legal system here. And this is where all the basis comes from. Your, your foundations, your very country's foundations, despite the fact that they were based on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, were all based on a revolution. And they were, they were based on a group of people who were oligarchs at the time, a few of whom, despite the fact of talking of, you know, of liberty and freedom of speech and all that, some of whom, um, I, can't remember what, I can't remember which one it was, suggested that the, that the, that the average you know, poor person could not vote, you know, did not have the, men, the mental sense to vote. Our country gives the people a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt. But despite that, we also offer a way out. So that in the event that that, uh, that that idea is true, that the average person is not intelligent enough to, uh, you know, de debate, uh, you know, decide in a, or, or try a fellow person, we allow for an option of a specially trained person, so this way the defendant has the right of choosing. And we don't force it on them based on the fact that your fellow peers can't uh, choose for you, uh, you know, are, are not competent enough. We allow the person who is being tried to choose whether they get a judge or a jury. We allow that freedom of choice. You know, we, we have extra choices that the U.S. system does not have. You know, we allow for this further extrapolation. And the only times that the government has attempted to infringe on our rights, um, you know, through the War Measures Act or on occasion Bill Section C-36, you know, the only times that we followed through on pay... I mean, you know, your government system, your government pointed, you know, um, and this is one of the things, I'm not, I'm not attacking you Americans. I'm pretty sure the bulk of you re realize the Patriot Act was a dumb idea. Um, but the Patriot Act is completely unnecessary for, you know, uh, for the bulk of stuff. I still think that even Bill Section C-36 that we have up here, too many of the things that are on it are unnecessary. Probably in another five years, our government is going to take a look at this stuff and realize, you know what, we don't need this. We're going to get rid of, this, of the ter any terrorist legislation. Unfortunately, we're, we, you know, the only re I mean, there was even a big brouhaha in the United States. The United States tried to put pressure on Canada to even prevent us from getting rid of those things in our uh, security legislation because of the fact that they were worried about tightening of the border and terrorist uh, problems. Canada is its own independent country. We work on, you know, yes, we will prevent terrorists from going down to the U.S., but we can work that on old-fashioned police work. We don't need your techniques. We don't need your government's techniques. We can do it fine on our own two feet, and we've done so. We've worked by rationality. We worked on the preponderance of the evidence that any good skeptic or scientist would work with, and we apply that to government proceedings. That is our basis. That is our foundation. Rational inquiry. Freedom of thought. Freedom to express thought. Freedom to debate. And at the end of that, voting after all issues have been discussed. And in the event that the rule of the majority is wrong, we have counter we have counter checks and balances to send it back. I mean, yes, I know that the, the Supreme Court, the government, the, the president and all that have veto powers over each other. But the thing is that the difference is that the president does not have long-term thought. The Supreme Court does, but only has limits in terms of the Constitution. In our country, we have a long-term body that can actually pass resolutions that can be made into law, as long as it's not involving, uh, you know, taxing or anything like that. You know, that's where the House of Commons comes in. But the but our group does have the ability to send back things twice for reevaluation in the event, you know, uh, in the event that the House of Commons screws up. So this way, they can have a, set, a chance to reevaluate their own position. We have that check and balance in there, and our appointed people have enough power, you know, have enough long-term standing power that they can think long-term and constantly pass resolutions over something that, you know, uh, so say, for example, the local government that is bought in doesn't have, to, doesn't have to worry about the polls. You know, the, the, Reddit, the Senate may pass something saying, you know, try to pass a resolution, which may, get made, which may or may not get made into law, which says, look, you know, oh, for long-term detrimental effects, we think this, you know, and they have the time and because of the fact that they have to think long term, because they're going to be in office for several for several more decade, years or decades, they are going to think long term and try to con evaluate the evidence more so than, say, a government that's going to do, st for example, the Kyoto Protocols. The Canadian government approved the Kyoto Protocols, which weren't even which were completely baseless. And on top of that, the uh, the current plan which, uh, of the Harper government, um, you know, the current plan of the Harper government of trying to implement them is completely too far short sighted and is just working based on polls. 
you know, will try to work with their ideology. The Senate, however, has tried to pass resolutions for more practical means of dealing with the climate change effect of global warming based on the fact that they can look more long term. And that's the difference. That is the crucial difference between uh, our system of your, and your guys' system. We are founded on rationality. We are founded on reason debate. You guys are founded on rationality in theory, but in practice have had, discrimina you know, have had discrimination both in the South and in the North for the longest periods of time. This includes disabilities. This includes other various minorities. This still includes to a certain extent based on racial profiling and the like. And I mean, how many people would still, uh, you know, would still probably say like, oh, Muslim, they're more likely to be a terrorist or, or that their system is going to automatically give rise to terrorism? Neo-atheist movement, for example, fell, uh, many of my fellow skeptics have uh, voiced this to me and uh, quite a few of my fellow skeptics. None of my subscribers, but quite a few of my fellow skeptics have voiced this to me in private message saying, uh, you know, uh, religion, um, Dawkins has said religion is the root of all evil. Um, well, what about Stalin being an, uh, an atheist, uh, uh, being a madman? Does that mean that atheism gives rise to madman too? No. And again, this whole, this exact same sort of mentality is prevented in Canada. We reduce that sort of mentality of discrimination. You know, anyway, I guess that's the, I mean, like you guys are still based on discrimination. We in Canada have a much, a much better system of trying to fight it. We have it, but we still have discrimination here in Canada like you do. But the difference is we recognize it more often and we're trying to fight it considerably more so, um, you know, in the majority of groups. And we enshrine in our basis, uh, in law, as well as in practice and in our very charter, the, uh, the diversity of Canada. We recognize that, that ethnic, that background, that disabled, that different thought stream. Like we, we recognize all that to prevent the, so, you know, to allow for freedom of rational debate, to allow everybody to have a level playing field to start off with. And then based on all attributes after that, are people allowed to, um, are people allowed to. If somebody, has a if somebody uh, is of a different racial background or a different cultural background, they're given the time of day to try it. They're, they're given the, the room to try to learn the new social constraints so that, and then they can demonstrate their capabilities otherwise you know, uh, based on true competence or the lack thereof. If a person who has a disability, they're given enough accommodations to work with their disability, so this way they can perform as a normal person, and then otherwise they can then show, uh, demonstrate their qualifications. Um, you know, the, um, the, everybody has a right to education, everybody has a right to equal level playing field for education. If a, dis a disabled person in Canada has the same right, uh, is given accommodations in terms of test taking, assignment extensions, that sort of thing in Canada to allow for, you know, to allow for the, um, to allow for the basis that, um, you know, to, to allow for, uh, to allow for the fact that, um, uh, that, you know, their disability may hamper them from learning in certain styles. So teaching styles are re-amended to, to teach them proper, you know, uh, under the best style that they're able to learn. So this way, after that, with all the accommodations, they are then marked, uh, you know, with the accommodations to make them equivalent to a normal person. And then they are marked based on pass or fail, based on how they demonstrate on exams and assignments. If they still don't get, understand the material after that, then they are genuinely unable to work in that area. And if they still uh, pass a D average and are unable to pass or what have you, if a disabled per a disabled person is not stupid because of their disability. They are only stupid if they demonstrate themselves to be stupid after they've had the accommodations to allow their disability to allow them to perform at a, at a normal level. See the difference? That's where, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not treating them like they're retarded. And I want to make this perfectly clear. And we have that. We have that enshrined in our rights and freedoms. Now, I know I'm, I know I'm ranting a lot about this, and I know that I'm, I'm rant, uh, superior in Canada here, but my point being is that a Canadian system in terms of in terms of our, our pre in terms of where our uh, uh, our country is founded on, and in terms of our both our political and social ideals, we're one step ahead of the U.S. Europe is one step ahead of us in a large chunk of areas, um, you know, in large chunks of areas in terms of education and the like. But I do think that at least Canada does have a good a better starting basis than the U.S. when it comes to a large chunk of these issues of freedom, liberty, security, and um, no, not security. Scratch that. Freedom, liberty, safety, and, uh, and allowing people to pursue happiness and, uh, you know, to pursue the lives in any way they see fit. Toodles.